Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. In this video, we try to find out how much the range of a 2021 Volvo XC90 plug-in hybrid can be. Volvo states 40 km, 24.7 miles. WLTB says 46 km, 28.3 miles. But I'm pretty sure we can get over 50 km, 31 miles. Why am I so sure? Well, this is my own car which I have the pleasure to drive now for about a year and I get around 50 kilometers, 31 miles quite regularly. The electric motor has 65 kilowatts, 87 horsepower. The battery has a gross capacity of 11.6 kilowatt hours. Net is around 8.5 according to the board computer. If charged up on a household plug with 2.3 kilowatt hours, around 10.5 kilowatt hours will go in, but this includes the charging losses. The four-cylinder petrol engine, which is of no relevance for this test, delivers 303 horsepower. There will be a second video with this car, which will be the real-life fuel consumption test with empty battery on the EcoDriver Loop to find out about the efficiency of the drivetrain, irrespective of the battery size, which normally with VHEVs is the dominant factor for the WLTP or EPA ratings, but doesn't give you any good idea about the real-life consumption. That's why I will do those two different tests with plug-in hybrids. You'll find the link in the description box below and at the end of this video. For this test, I do a different loop, which is much shorter and has neither long climbs nor a motorway, as for most PHEVs, uh, longer and steeper climbs can exceed the power of the engine and the combustion engine kicks in. And as for the motorway, we have restrictions of 100 km an hour, 62 miles per hour around here and we get that on a piece of road on this loop anyway. You see the loop here, 18.3 kilometers, 11.3 miles between two cities with speeds from 30 to 100 kilometers an hour, 20 to 62 miles per hour, and a short hill. I will keep the front camera on for the first loop for you to get an idea how this test lab looks like and how I am driving as the driving style is the most important factor in getting a good range out of an EV. We just go around as often as possible until the petrol engine kicks in. Weather is almost perfect, 19 degrees Celsius, 66 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment. And now, enjoy the trip and I'll talk to you later. This car does recuperate a little bit when you lift your foot off the accelerator, but when you're in pure mode, that's the EV mode, then there's no region above 70 km per hour or 43 miles per hour, as you see here. This truly helps. Regenerating means braking and this wastes energy, as you never get back what you've invested before. You might have seen some other range tests with this car. Chris Reefer did one where he stayed just below 40 km. Kyle from Inside EV managed to get only 21 miles, 34 kilometers out of it. But as this channel is called EcoDriver, and I am the EcoDriver, I do it properly and try to obey all the rules of economical driving, so it should be easy to reach 50 kilometers or more.
first lap finished, we've covered 18.5 kilometers and the remaining range of 27 that now indicates a range of over 45 kilometers, which means we are on track to reach 50. Second lap finished and we've done 36.7 kilometers with a remaining range of 15 and that already lifts us above 50 kilometers, almost 52. That's very satisfying and I'm really curious how far above 50 we can come. We are now coming close to the full third lap. Remaining range is not shown anymore, but we've covered 54.8 kilometers, 33.8 miles. Well, that's a really good performance of this car so far, and maybe we can get to 55. I guess the combustion engine will start any second, and that's perfect timing as we come close to the starting point of this test. Here we are, 55.0 kilometers, 34 miles electric range with this PHEV, which officially only should do 46. Well, that shows the importance of the driving style. Of course, in very hot weather, when the AC uh, is on, uh, range will be shorter. When it's cold as well, as the cold affects the performance of the battery, not the heating in this car, as this is done through an external heater which uses petrol from the tank. It has to be said that there are different versions depending on the market. It might well be that the energy for heating is coming off the battery, which then will, of course, reduce the range. If you want to see the fuel consumption test with empty battery and my five tips how to drive PHEVs most efficiently, you find these videos here. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you soon.